appreciation to the representatives of the press who have been so generous in their treatment of me ever since it, the word was released that I was alive. I can't pick out any agency in particular because it's been uniform. AP, UP, INP, uh, and, uh, National Broadcasting, uh, all of them. If I've left out anyone, I don't mean it, but you've all overwhelmed me with your kindness. And I'm deeply appreciative of that. Another statement that I'd like to make is that I'm overjoyed to be back with my own countrymen again. I'm overjoyed. But my joy is tempered with the thought of Maribel Martin and Jean Stark and Ruth Hampton and Mrs. Walton Walker and others whose loved ones are not returning. That, that tempers my pleasure in returning. And I've heard of uh, Colonel, uh, Colonel Radke. And I want to take advantage of that. So I made the decision that I'll stay 15 days. I think I'd be a little foolish to pass up this God-given opportunity. Have you spoken to your family yet, sir? I have spoken to my mother, wife, and daughter. Do, do, uh, are any members of your family coming out here to see you, or are they going to wait for you in the United States? They're going to wait for me in the United States. They don't know that I'm going to stay that long, that decision I made this morning. But otherwise, you're in fine shape? I, I feel that I'm in splendid shape. I was walking 12 and a half miles every day, uh, clothed in nothing but shorts, uh, under a beautiful sun up there. And uh, when upon arising in the morning, I took an hour and a half of very violent calisthenics before breakfast. So I feel I'm in very good shape. I think I could fight middleweight. <laughs> well, General, you said before that uh, there were a lot of things you wanted to forget or had to forget. Can you tell us about some of these? And lots of things you said you had to remember. I may not have expressed myself well. What I attempted to state was that I have had so much time to think that uh, there are many things that I've done wrong in the past that I hope to do better in the future. That was the point I was trying to put over. General, did you get any uh, letters from your family while you were in uh, North Korea? I was very fortunate. Talking to the other POWs that accompanied me through on the 4th, I find that I must have gotten special treatment. Because for, uh, for my daughter alone, I received 69 letters. And she, and from all other members of the family, not as many, but uh, quite a number. 35 for my mother, and uh, 30 for my wife, number for my son. Have you received much fan mail from other people in America? A great deal. I've received uh, 319 letters, I think. I've received many mail, many letters from mothers, uh, sisters, and wives of members of my command listed as MIA. And I want them to know that their letter never went unanswered after the day I received it. I hope that they received my answer. 
I was able to obtain no information on other POWs while I was there, no matter how hard I tried. I hope that this time that some of those that have made inquiries have received good news through Pan Moon John and have their loved ones back with them again. You might take a break now and get these lights off and give yeah. them a chance to cool off a little here. Right. The lights are very hot. Uh, does that sound all right? I mean, uh, 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 louder? Uh, was there much bombing going on and uh, were there any near misses? There was a great deal. Uh, they kept me in a house near Liberation Park, and there were some very, uh, well, it seemed to me close near misses. They were very quick to take me to an air raid shelter any time the signal came. But that time, our air was getting in very quickly ahead of the siren. Did you need a razor start before the... Uh Yes, sir. A jet would come in low, fast, and then we'd get the warning. How did you feel when you saw those planes coming in? Well, I was hoping and praying they would hit a, a military objective. I thought if they can't hit anything else, if they can hit this house, they'll get this guard, and that's that many. Did you notice much damage in North Korea, what you were able to observe, General? Yes. It's, uh, in many cities, well, most of the large cities, which w that were large cities from Monpo down to Kaesung, no longer exist as cities. People are living in cellars and in dugouts in the nearby hills. But the cities themselves no longer exist. Well, we heard that the population of North Korea had diminished from 10 million to 3 million. Could you tell us something about that? My only travel was on this main highway, and it seemed to me that there were as many people there as ever. There were a great many Chinese on my trip down on August the 5th, I noticed. Uh, General, do you plan to retire as soon as you get to the States? I am not at all certain what my plans will be. As I say, I've been out of circulation for three years. For many years, I promised my family that when I got 30 years in, I would start giving them some attention. And if I live up to my promise, I shall have to do that. I shall have to retire. Question, and it's this. Did you ever have any intentions to escape? Did you ever make any plans to escape? From the day I was captured, from the minute I was captured, the first year, illness kept me from it. first time I felt capable of really moving again it was August 52. I'd made certain preparations. And the day before I'd set, I came down with what I, what I thought was malaria. But which the Colonel, which Colonel Radke tells me was probably just amoebic dysentery. Not apparent or directly. After my 1st of January, 52, I was given reading matter. And most of it was, uh, the bulk of it, well, all of it up until this April was communistic literature. It was during Engels anti during and history of the Communist Party and uh, 
in, in, in Soviet Union. And,